Hello everyone and welcome to the 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every other day for 100 days I duel with a different like three times a day. My name is Memphis and today we're taking a look at Jamais, the Supreme King of Armageddon. And he is, this is a deck based entirely on this dude. So real I'm just going to go over the deck real quick, talk about it a bit, and then we're going to get some dueling going. So first off we have three copies of Jamais, the Supreme King of Armageddon. We have three Ruin, the Graceful Queen of Armageddon. We have, we have two, the original Demise and Ruin. As well as two of the Demise Fiend of Armageddon. We have two Incantation Talismandra, two Candle, we've got two Jin, the Demolisher of Rituals, we got three Manju. For spells, we've got uh, three Pre Peps, we got three End of the World, two Endless of the World, one Reverse of the World, and three Trade Ins. For traps, we have two Solemn Strikes, a Solemn Warning, two Bottomless Trap Holes, and two Return of the World. As well as Gustav Max for the on occasion burn damage, it's not that important. Mostly we're all about summoning demise and nuke and burning our opponent all over the place. And uh oh I go on this list, this is um this isn't the greatest deck in the world. Sadly, it's mostly because of the restrictions on the ritual spells. But when this deck goes off, it goes off hard. So we're gonna go into three duels against random opponents and have ourselves a good time. So let's get started, shall we? Aww. Alright, our first duel is up against a real live brick. It's amazing. I didn't know bricks could play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's ridiculous. And we kinda wanna go second. We can go first or second. This is an opening hand. Hmm. Well, we got trade in, so that's always good. So while I activate trade in and hopefully get some draws, I've got the first shout out to do. But sadly, I lost my list, so I'm gonna have to uh, cheat a little bit and just say. Today's episode is dedicated to all of you viewers. Thank you for joining us. I very much appreciate it. Leave your ideas for decks in the future. Uh, this isn't the deck I thought I picked. Oh no, he picked the wrong deck. I don't care. Too bad. Let's see. Uh, get Ruin. Because we want more draws. Uh, yeah, so we're going to set this. Yeah, I've got so I got 26 days left in the 100 days. So if you got a deck idea you want me to try out, I will try just about anything. Hmm. Hmm. Ritual monster. Yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna reveal the fact that we have demise the fiend in our hand. Summon our monsters. This would be better if we had the smaller one, but I really wanted to do this on now. Let me just make sure I pick the right one from hand, from field, from head. We want to end of the world. Both the retrains count as the originals in your hand, or in the on the field, of course, so it's very important. Um, yeah, I don't want to do it yet. I mean, I know I'm risking a solemn or something. But, uh, this is, uh, very important that we go s this is why we go second with this deck. We're up against Christrons. We can do things against Christrons, hopefully. Maybe. Really depends on what he board he makes. Mathematician, so he's gonna send, like, Turtle to the Graveyard. Or something. Probably Turtle, pro maybe Smugger. Maybe something else? I don't know. I tried the Crystrons before. I wasn't great at them. Okay, it was the turtle. So now he can... Okay, so we're gonna... Hmm. Well, yeah, we'll watch him for a minute. I usually skip if a turn looks like it's gonna take, like, forever. But, uh, let, let's just... Let's talk about the deck a little bit more. Let's talk about the deck a little bit more. Yeah, Demise... Uh, the original Demise is, like, my favorite ritual monster ever. Like, don't ask why. It just... It was. It was my favorite. It was always my favorite, and I just... Liked it as a kid. And now it's got this big old nasty retrain. And I thought, hey, I'll make a deck out of it. Why not? So that's what I did. And the only problem with them, like I said, is the ritual spells themselves. Because they're very specific. You know, both end of, the end of the World and Reverse of the World says you have to have monsters that are, you know, the levels have to be exact. Most rituals say you can exceed. The, the Endless of the World exceeds, but it only works on things on the field, so it's a bit meh in that regard. Okay, it's time to do this shit. End of the world, baby! Yeah, use those two. What? Wait, no, I clicked the wrong button! No! <laughs> I clicked the wrong button! 
Okay, what does this do in it? Okay, this card's ritual to destroy a face up monster on the field. Okay, I can still make. I can still recover. <laughs> I always do that when I'm ritual summoning. Why? Let's see. Yeah, that wasn't a good thing. That was a bad thing. I was supposed to summon this. But luckily, it seems he doesn't have much at the moment, so... Depending, man. You know? I mean, I can stop some of his stuff. Not all of his stuff, but some of his stuff. We got this. That is not a way I wanted to start a deck, because I was going to summon the boss, man. I was going to nuke his field and do all this damage, but it didn't work out, because I misclicked. Because I'm just... Nah. Why does the nah happen? Uh, Mr. Brick, go ahead and play your mirror horse. Thank you. Or that. That works, too. Alright, I'm going to skip ahead a few turns, because I'm already feeling bad enough that I actually, actually used this. So, I'll see you guys back here in a minute. Alright, you were back. Uh, I just had a quick break. Uh, and hey, look what we got. We got the pre prepper rights. I can salvage this duel, man. I'm gonna salvage it right now from the depths of despair. Oh, yeah. This is it. It's about to get real, baby. We're gonna get Endless of the World, which uses monsters on the field to use its effects. So there you go. And let me think. Yeah. I'm gonna use these two. What are you gonna do? Make a five-star synchro monster. Let's see. And this card is destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. This card is saying, change all face of special summon monsters. Spawn controls to defense mode. Okay, so you're going to put my monster in defense mode? I mean, that's not great, but my monster's defense is the same as its attack, so it's all good for me. So now what happens is when, you know, when the agent goes to the graveyard... I target my monster, and he can't do anything when I activate this effect. Granted, I need to pay life points, but uh, th them's the works. What is this? Target a total? Uh, that total is going to be freaking soup in a moment. There you go. All right. Now it's his turn. Let's see what you got, Mr. Christron. I may, it may have taken longer than I wanted, but I summoned Demise. Would have been better using both Ritual Monsters, because then, then I don't pay life points. That's the crux of this. So if I use nothing but Rituals, then I get uh, I don't have to pay life points. Which is why usually you'll use either another Demise or you use Ruin to make this. What are you trying to do? Send Thistvern, huh? So now you're going to banish, add a crystal monster, okay, and then see, discard a crystal, special on this card, defense, and then destroy a card of control. And then you can banish this, add another card, oh, oh, he's just going to special summon that or you, okay, I see how you're doing this thing, and then you're going to pop that, summon another crystal, do more synchro plays. I mean, that's... Wait, what? He did not do that. Alright, that's fine. We're going to use Endless of the World. We can b put it back in our deck, get End of the World. And we can also get a uh, monster from the graveyard. We're going to get Ruin. Because we're going to go ahead and use Demise's... Oh, he surrendered. There you go. We, were, we had this game. Because we were going to nuke his field and then summon a ritual and attack. So there's a win. It was a bit it was a bit dicey there, but uh, whatever. So uh, let's go into the next duel before I ruin myself. Alrighty, the second duel is up against Osaka. Osaka? However you want to pronounce that. Then we get to pick this time. We're going to second again. Opening hand. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. We got the things to make Ruin out, and Ruin is not great, but it can attack twice. And again, we're up against Hero, I swear. 
if you go to turbo out freaking Omega and like nix my hand, I will be I will be a little cross because I ran into that in while testing, and that was a very annoying deck, and I don't know who was uh, like high and uh, decided to make that uh, thing. It's just like, please ban Omega. I would be very appreciative if you would ban Omega, come Nami. I would be your best friend forever. And you fool, you've locked yourself out of pendulum summoning. What an amateur. Alright, let's check this out. Well, we can make reverse of the world. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and start off with... No. No, I put us the wrong... I should have... Not done that, because now he's going to make Dark Law, Dark Law, and he's going to banish a card in my hand. Hmm. Yeah, I should have started with Reverse, really. Because this lets me Ritual from the deck. I can Ritual Summon a Monster from my deck. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Let's go with Reverse of the World. So yes, I now tribute... I'm going to tribute this dude for another copy of himself. And then I'll nuke the field. And I won't have to pay life points to do it. It'll be pretty neat, bro. Alright, where is he? There he is. And we're gonna use... Ah, uh, wait, wait. Equal or exceed. Very nice. Gonna summon that dude. And then the agent makes it so he can't trigger anything in response to me blowing up his stuff. There you go. There's the deck. I should have ran more reverse. I don't know why I ran it at one. Should be at two, at least. Okay, what are you doing? Designator from the grave? No! My dude! I needed him to save me, man. Oh, well. I still get to nix the field for nothing. I mean, go ahead and Dark Law, if that's what you choose to do, but it's not going to really help you in any way. I'm still killing this. And you still can't add Stratos to your hand. That guy's still banned. What are you gonna do? Come on, Oska, just make your decision. Let me nuke your field and then burn you for 3,000 damage. Or burn for 200 and then I'm gonna hit you for 3,000 damage. It'll be just like burning, though, but with battle damage. It'll be. Come on, there you go. 400 damage. Then he gets to add another hero. Yada, yada, yada. I don't care. Get your honesty Neos, or whatever you're planning to get. Because this can't be destroyed in battle. That's the, that's the uh, effective demise of the Supreme King. Is that any ritual monster you have cannot be destroyed in battle. The other one protects from card effects, so you're really supposed to summon them both at the same time, but it's hard to do. Because they only have so much to hurt. The trap helps somewhat, but we haven't drawn the trap yet. Alright, you got your vision hero, what are you going to do with it? Eh? What are you gonna do? Okay. Send a hero from that to graveyard. Banish hero at poly. So that's like almost just as good as Stratos. So why is Stratos banned? Well, this is th at three. It's ridiculous. Just get rid of this and give us Stratos back. You know? I'm just saying. Just saying, man. What is, is old? That card is old. Uh... Yeah, okay, no more bad puns. I'm bad at making the bad puns. Alright, so let me guess. You're gonna get rid of a few equip spells in order to summon a hero. I was... Yeah, and let me guess. Divine Sword. No? Moon Mirror Shield. Interesting. And you're gonna make... He uh, no. I thought it was Hero Kid for a second. Then I remembered he's level 2. She and Squire, huh? Interesting choice. What kind of deck is this? Heroes with six samurais? And ass blossoms? Seven star synchro. Okay. Mm. There's a lot of nasty level seven synchro monsters. It is true. Which one will he pick? I don't know. It could be a lot of things. It could be so many things. It could be Black Rose Dragon. Oh, that bet. That would be like game ending almost. Because this deck does not have the greatest of recovery. It really needs... What? What did you just... Oh, it's Boral... My mortal foe. You. You get off the field. 
Leave my demise alone. You fiend. You leave that man alone. He did nothing to you. Okay, this is not good. I'm going to skip ahead until it's my turn. Because I think I may have just gotten hit very hard in the face. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Aww. All right, we're back. Uh, let me think about this. There's nothing we can do. I was so close. I can't think of anywhere I went wrong, though. It's like there wasn't much else I could have done in this situation, you know? Wait, did I use endless of the world? Yeah, I did. Pretty sure. Well, I might as well add this, even though it doesn't help. Can I activate it? No. So that is sadly a very disappointing loss. We had it so close, man. But it didn't work. So I'm going to go into the third duel, and hopefully I'll see you there. Aww. Alrighty, the third and final opponent is Bob. Just plain old regular Bob. Can't have a bad time with a guy named Bob. And we get to go second again, so what do you do, man? Um, this hand is not like... This would have been perfect going first hand. Of course it is. Or we get something else with rituals. Of course it's Cyber Angels, because no one's original with their rituals, man. It's always freaking Cyber Angels or nothing. Let's see... Yeah, use Ben 10... Summon E to 10, Ben 10, add to card. The thing is, we got the Return of the World, so that's good. Because it pretty much allows us to, well, we banish a ritual monster, and then we can tribute a monster, and, you know, we, we can ritual summon the banished monster, basically. Let's see, let me read it again. Tribute a monster from hand or field, or shuffle a ritual monster from graveyard to deck. Level equals or exceeds the level of the monster banished. Yes. Yeah, but the thing is, it's only one monster. It's a pretty uh, nice card. It just depends on what to get. I mean, I can straight up make another ruin with this. Just attack twice. Although Dawn of the Herald might make that to be the problem. Because this now he's just going to freaking Herald protect man. He's just going to, you know, negate all of my things. Because he's got like two negates right out of the bat, at minimum. Could have up to four negates. Didn't put kaijus in here, I wanted to be less kaiju-y. Uh, if only I'd gone first. Like I said, we've got the, we have the materials to go first or second. I just prefer going second because demise and nuking field and stuff. Ay, ay, ay. It's like my, it's like a curse. Every time I want to go second. It's better that I went first. Every time I want to go first, I wind up going second. All right. Let me see what we got here. Well, we're going to set this stuff here. At the very least, you can't stop all this stuff, man. And I can... Ri and the thing is, this counts as a ritual summon. Yeah, so I can use... You know, I can banish a, sh a, a demise. Get rid of demise. to summon demise. And you can only indicate so much. Okay, he can only negate me so many times. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to activate one of these. See what he negates me with. Yeah, I know he's got Varash in hand, and he's got Ben 10 in hand, you know. Okay, go ahead and summon this stuff. I'm going to negate at least whatever you're trying to ritual summon. Varash, I believe it was. Yes. Go ahead, I'm 90% sure that this cannot negate counter traps. I could be mistaken, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. Uh, yeah, no. No ritual for you, go away. Okay, so you've got Vrash, and you've got something else in your hand. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm not allowed to use my return again, because I already played one. Stinks, man, but it's truth. Let's see, my turn. Oh, we drew the other... Oh, wait, I've got three, that's fine. Try this again. Not gonna work, because... 
Harold Ferry never allows any fun. That's why I've never tried to play. What the heck is that? Eve? Or Eva? Eva? Freaking alien. <sighs> well, I tried my best, but it didn't work. I'm going to have to go into the end screen, sadly, with a whimper this episode, and I apologize for this. Aww. So, yeah, everybody, Demise Turbo only got the one win. It's sad but true this happens, so I'm just going to have to dust myself off and do better tomorrow, which is, uh, I forget what the deck is. I could check real quick, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, what the heck not. What's a quick preview? Yeah, Destiny Board? Alright, sure. We'll give Destiny Board a shot. So, tune in for that, hopefully, and, you know, like I said, uh, tell me what you think of the deck. Tell me what you would have done differently, and let me know decks you want me to try in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. This will be a boy, Memphis, signing out.